start off, you're going to want to find neutral with your horse's leg. And what I mean by that is you want to minimize the stress and strain on the surrounding tissue and supporting structures. And when you do that and you incorporate a stand and a hoof cradle, the horse is really willing to stand there. But once you move them outside of that neutral position, they're going to pull their leg away. So here I am, I'm going to put the leg back in a neutral position. And this horse is really happy to stand here on the hoof cradle and not pull its foot away. Same goes for the front feet. When you find a neutral position, they're happy to rest their leg there. And even when you get into the working position and bring the stand to the horse's leg, it allows me to also stand and work in a position that minimizes some of the stress and strain on my body throughout the working day. Having a tool to allow me to be efficient and save time is really valuable. And so one of the things I love about the cradle is it not only works well as a hoof stand, it also works as well as a post. Here I'll bring the leg forward in a neutral position, bring the stand to the horse's foot, and I'm able to use it as a post now. And you can see the horse is happy to stand here when I need to top dress or do any work on top. When you take the leg and pull it outside of the neutral position, and you ask the horse to stand there, they're gonna constantly wanna pull on it and pull their leg away. Also like to have their knee bent just a tiny bit this also helps them stand a little bit more relaxed. If you have their leg too low or their leg straight, they often want to try to push their leg off it. Same goes for the hind feet. When I brought this leg forward and put it on the stand, you can see that it brought its leg slightly to the inside. So I just made a small adjustment, more, brought the leg more to the midline, and this horse is really happy to stand there. So then I can go straight to work. Right here, I'm cleaning up my clenches and getting ready to clench. So what allows me to be more efficient in my day is not having to switch out a post and a cradle every time and I can use one stand while I'm doing my workflow. This combination hoof cradle and post works well with any hoof stand that has an inch and a half opening. If for some reason you wear out the rubber mat, no problem, I have replacements built for it. They're extremely durable and last a long time. It just needs two bolts to come out and screw the next one in. Shop at EDSS.com if you're interested in purchasing one of these cradles.